Hi, it's Steve again uh, on the M3 near Winchester. Uh, a nice weather today. We've got a bit of wind and a bit of rain. And we got a 40 ton um, foreign unit and trailer that uh, has got an engine problem. So the unit and trailer's from Latvia. And uh, the driver's uh, from Ukraine. Been asked to take it to MAN Southampton uh, with an engine fault with it. So it's the MAN TGX 500 V cab, quite a smart unit. So we're going to get it loaded and uh, get him off to the dealer. So just going to do our normal pre lift. So the handbrake's on, we're just getting underneath that front bumper. Well, it does speak a little bit of English. Uh, I know it's Ukraine uh, flag he's got up in his uh, cabin. I did ask him about it, and he's from Ukraine. Right, so that. Yeah, I haven't tried starting it. He said it was rattling, so we've just left it. There it is. Doing the pre lift now. Yes, yeah, so it's been a while since uh, I put a video up there. We've had a bit, a few problems really filming. But um, this one, we've got no problems uh, filming on this one. Let's say we're. So it's just us out here. So we've got some cones out. So it's pretty windy, so it does rock and roll a bit when you're loading this. Fortunately, can't get over any further with these stones, this drainage. So normally I'll be pulling the aft shaft on the offside because the diff lock's on the near side of this, but. We're not going to venture out there at all. I'm not going to get under there and do the prop. So we're going to pull up the near side half shaft for the diff lock and worry about putting it back when we get the other end. Normally you can get them back by, by uh, putting the broom handle up the shaft, working the diff lock and getting them back in it. A little bit more of a pain. Than you would do. Fortunately, I can't put me a uh, laying down mat down here either. I think we're not blown away. All right. Let's so hopefully won't be able to go to the offside too lot too much. Be able to try and work. Put me airlines all down the near side if we can work from here. Straight up against this uh, bracket. Let's stop that sliding. He's already got his toe and eye out ready. It well, won't be fixed, uh, fixed towing him to Southampton. We'll be handy at the other end for the garage to move it around. There we go. Make sure he's not catching on that bolt. No, but it's actually moving in a little bit. There's a bolt just behind it that's stopping it seating properly that side. Let's have a look and see if this one's alright. It's seated yet, this one's seated okay. Lifting her up now off the wheel stands. Don't need to lift it too high. Right. So we get some chains on it now. A 
bit longer these ones. <laughs> Have a look here. Get around the top of the axle. Just this a little bit. One side chained on. Oh, lovely, cheers, thank you. All right, put this away, and I think we'll go for an airline next. Get the air suspension, get it set up. down there for a sec. Right, get some air going into it. Right. See if that lock on. Yeah, lovely, yeah. He knows. He knows where the air points are. He's, they do most of the European truck drivers actually. They're quite a, they do any of their trucks. Oh, well, just waiting for it to lock on, it might. That's it, it's locked now. Right. Let's have a look, now we're after the red one. Yeah, the red one there, just at the back, yeah. You've broken down before then, have you? <laughs> Yeah, this is a red main red uh, airline with feed all assistance. So we stick a it's onto the unit, let it build up. It's obviously been here a little while. Oh, there you go. That's building in there nicely. Do that for a minute. And we'll do the half shaft next. Get out of the way, I'm only tripping on that. Yeah, by putting the uh, air into the unit now, we'll be feeding the unit and the trailer. So we've got to take the handbrake off, move her in, then we put a yellow line to break the trailer. Then we've got to put another emergency line onto the trailer. So we're putting three air lines on this. So normally we'll be pulling the, the offside, but no, we definitely won't be getting out of that side with the motorway. So you tend to find this side that's probably not been off for a long time, if at all.
blue row. A bit of rag for the arsehole. Yeah, these are not roller bearings, so once uh, you brought the middle up, you don't tend to get much. Uh, well, all come out. That's it, this is the other bit. This is where the dip lock uh, splines are. Normally, you would only have one spline on the other half shaft, but the diff lock, it's got two. Where it engages. So hence, that's why it's harder to get back. Right. You don't get much oil out of these. Just putting a bit of roll to clear the bad weather getting in the shaft. on the traffic a little bit more here. Turn all. There you go. Sometimes you find it stays in there okay on the outside protect it a little bit right it weren't too bad right so it'd be continental palm couplings One it. Get another yellow Susie. See, so this does all the braking. This will. That's one. Let's get the red one out. up a little bit when you take the handbrake off yeah can you take the brake off please yeah yeah the oh, no, yeah stop brake yeah slowly very clean in here there oh, there we are there we go lovely okay that's good thank you Right, we should be able to bring this in now. You say we'll probably give a bit more. That's fine. Happy. Just gonna get her in a little bit. We'll probably get some air onto that rear suspension. Once we get going, we can find out how heavy it really is. Right, let's get a little bit more. A little bit of a stoke. Let's right in. Okay. Right, let's see if we can. Uh, uh, can we get a rear suspension up? Oh, sorry, I should have. I've done that and I'm making you step up now. One second. One second, I'll chop it down. Sorry. There we go. I'll save him stepping up. Do we have to put the ignition on for this? And this is the remote he's using there to get suspension up a bit. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's lovely. That's giving us plenty of clearance there. 
okay and we check the oh no there's the hazards on oh lights off yeah yeah oh, I can plug into to his lights lovely thank you Get some lights on first, I think. Oh. Right. Okay. It's a different plug, so I've got. That's all right. Just use me. It's my electrical suit. That's all right. I'll use that. Oh. Oh, that's it, I've got lights. Sorry. That's fine. Yep. Right, we'll take the. Get our Susie off. Get that air out of the way. Emergency line going to the trailer. Oh, it's gone in. Thank you. Can we give us a toot from the other side? The rope. used to using them all the time. Well fine I'm fiddly anyway. That's it. Okay. Both in. That's it. Put the tidy it out there in a sec. Make sure I've got no leaks yet. Put the yellow Susie in first. Break the trailer. Right, so we should have brakes on the trailer. Now the emergency one, so this will be feeding the air to the trailer. And obviously if anything comes attached, the Susie lead will pull out and the brakes will come on the trailer. Any leaks? No, that sounds good. Yeah, no leaks. <laughs> right, put the tank around there. Okay. Right. Get a cut of cable ties out.
just gonna check your lights for he's got oh oh so you got the side lights on here okay yeah just have a look connected my lead but i've got to take the other lead off see if that's me hazard lights that'd be okay that's okay because the hazard lights are running through my electric lead so that's fine I'll leave the side lights on it's not <laughs> Tidy up with this. That's it. Sort this one out. See how underneath there. Right. There we go. Plenty of clearance. Catwalk, spinching up a little bit. Looking good to me. Okay. Right, there we go. Put in there for a sec. I'm gonna put the cones away. All loaded now. So we're on our way to uh, Southampton MAN. Uh, and there we have it. Right, I'll probably do a little bit of filming maybe when I get to the other end and see if we can uh, park it up because they're quite busy in the dealership at the moment so uh, we need to park on the road and find out um, where we can uh, if we can get it in or where we can park it but so we worry about that when we get there but thanks a lot for watching for now yeah we're just coming off uh, the M3 onto a slip road heading to the Calmore Industrial Estate MAN Is it MAN down here? Nutsy Road. Which is here, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Cars everywhere. Lucky he's going in there. No deal. Private property, so we can't go in there. Well. Be able to park up in there, maybe, and try and find out. It's flashing on. Right, let's move forward a little bit and see what we can uh, see if we can drop it. Right, it's not ideal, but we have actually found a space for the trailer. Um, just had a quick update. He'll be here in about 30 minutes to drive us, so. Uh, to collect the trailer so I think that's gonna have to be good enough for now just taking the yellow Susie off uh, and we're just gonna power it back and put the trailer brake on and uncouple it here find it a little bit easier actually let's make sure he's not doing anything Another second oh he's just doing that uh, doing his boy getting your water out are you <laughs> That's, I'm just going to power her back, okay. 
right we're powering it back now just find it a little bit easier to uncouple it then we can just pull the pin then with the with my boom i can uh pull the unit and the trailer apart then make sure we're not onto the red line <sighs> sorry the red line there there we go, I think, I have to, I think that's good enough for now, really. There we go, right. I'm just going to put the trailer brake on. So I've already taken the yellow Susie, that's how I was able to... It's, it's winding the legs down. Trailer brake on the trailer. Right, I've set the brakes. He's winding the legs down for us. I'm gonna take some of these lines off now. Yeah, quite a busy estate this is. I'm not very familiar with it, but. So I'll leave my, obviously the, Air connected to the unit, we can drop the suspension down. Just going to take the lines and that off the trailer now. Being disconnected. No. So it's not ideal location, but we can't do too much once we get out of the way. There, there's a bit more room on the junction that people get past. Hopefully, we might be here a little bit early. What you think? I'll get rid of that train right away. Remember, we drag the unit round away my ends and see where we can put it up there. And this is just too far for them to be able to be able to drag it up there. It's back. Right, right, so we've got the legs down. Okay. Yeah, and the, you pulled the pin, yeah? Yes. Pin's pulled, right, lovely. I can probably put him over there now, the truck's gone. Right, let's gently pull it off the pin. There we go. There we go, so that's clipped in. Need to drop it down a bit and get the. Oh, I wonder if he's left the keys in there. I'll put leaving the airline on so I can uh, adjust the suspension. <clears throat> All right, we'll drop this down.
going down. Right, that's clear of the trailer now. Right, let's see if we can get him across the road. That's where he wants to go. So imagine if the engine's gone on this, this will be going back to Latvia. It won't be having a new engine put here on the floor. Okay there. I just yeah, is there okay? Yeah, you happy enough over there? That's near that's right near your trailer, isn't it? Okay. I'm just gonna move move it forward a little bit. Okay, you're right there. Just shut this door. We get over there before something has our spot. Right, everything's all right here. Yeah. yeah, we're all clear. Okay, we're head over there then. You're right. Let's see if we can get in there across the road. Then he's sorted then. in here Tight, but I'm parking too tight. <laughs> That's it, just let's get that back wheels off the curb. Right to me, I can't quite see where the other wheel is. We'll have to have a little look. Right, let's see how we are. Looks alright from where I am. Ah, oh, just a little bit, a little bit, eh? That's alright. I wanted to try and get you in. Let's, let's go back a little bit and uh, come in, have it. Let's try. Yeah, I'm just a little, little bit over. Oh. Any nuisance? Right. Let's get that back wheel on the. Yeah. 
see it, I can feel it now. That's good. Right, let's have another go. I've got him in, mate. Cheers. Thanks a lot, yeah. I think this will end up going back to Latvia because the engine's gone on it, so so I don't think it'll be MBM be doing anyway. Cheers, thank you. Cheers for your help. Right. The air points and uh, the glue into it. <clears throat> right, let's get into time for that. Some little cutters. Oh, you got it pulled it pulled it off. Yeah, not very strong them zip ties. Paperwork. There we go. Right, just tidying up now. Thanks very much for watching the channel again. So we got him in safe. There's the trailers across the road. So he's duly picked up any minute now, hopefully. And so the units are uh, safely parked up. They won't be working on it till looking at it till Tuesday now. So he's got a little bit of a wait. So we we'll go and see him around the corner, let him know where he is, and that. Just put the handbrake on. Nice clean cab. Right, here we go. Thanks very much for watching as always. Subscribe to the channel and uh, till next time. Thank you very much.